English lesson. We are today doing part two of the topic entertainment. If you were with me last week, if you watched the live stream last week, we talked about entertainment and uh, last week we talked about a lot of the things that you can go out to do and this week we're going to do part two. Um, bonus points for anybody who can tell me what this person is doing. Uh, maybe type in the chat what you think is happening here. But certainly as time has gone on, people have learned how to entertain each other. So today, once again, we'll be looking at entertainment. I hope it's a good lesson for you. Um, I brought my fly swatter again because there is a fly. I was wondering if we should just name the fly that comes to all the live streams. Um, I thought we should name the fly Joey or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I brought the fly swatter just in case he shows up. Again, hello to all the people in the chat. It was fun chatting with you uh, earlier. I just want to shout out uh, to a few people. It's good to see Ajne again. Uh, he is uh, back after taking a bit of a break from the internet, but it's good to see you, Ajne. And I really hope that you have a good day today. Um, and it's good to see the rest of you. I'm sorry uh, I can't mention everyone by name. Lolly says juggling. Toto Park says juggling. I think you guys got it. So this is a juggler and he is juggling. Very entertaining. I can juggle three balls. Maybe someday I'll do that. Anyways, welcome to this lesson. Again, Todd will be um, posting. Let me just check something though. The live stream isn't working on my screen. I'm assuming it's working on your screen because you're answering the questions. So give me two seconds just to do a, a check here. Oh yeah, there I am. Park says juggling. Yep, it's definitely working, so that's good to know. Um, welcome to everyone who's here. Um, we are going to be talking about entertainment. Oh yes, I was going to mention uh, Todd is here. Hello, Todd. He will be posting a link in the chat if you have any questions, um, but let's get started. So, I forget exactly where we left off last time, but we're gonna start by talking about something called a comedy club. So a comedy club is a place where you go because you want to laugh. Um, excuse me, a comedy club is a place where they focus on having people up front who do different kinds of acting or tell different kinds of jokes to make you laugh. I live close to the city of Niagara Falls. If you go on Google Maps, you could search up Niagara Falls and in Niagara Falls, they have a couple comedy clubs. Um, I haven't been to one for a really long time, but when I was younger, I went to a comedy club once and I went there to see a stand-up comic or a comedian or a stand-up comedian. We have a lot of different names for the person who goes up front at a comedy club and they usually have a microphone uh, and they tell jokes. So uh, if you need a good laugh and uh, you want to go out and be entertained, a comedy club uh, is a great place to go. So uh, these people I think are doing improv. Improv is a kind of comedy uh, and this person is definitely uh, a stand-up comic. He has, he's making a funny face. He probably just told a joke um, and he is talking into a microphone. It's possible that someone is heckling him. There might be a heckler in the audience. Um, a heckler is someone, heckler is an audience member that yells at the person on stage. So that's what a heckler is. You might also, if you wanna go out and be entertained, you might go and see a magic show. So you can see uh, the classic uh, magic trick is for a magician to pull a rabbit out of a hat. Um, I don't wanna give it away. I don't wanna talk about magician yet because that's the next paper, but we'll talk about him anyways. This is a magician and he is doing a magic trick and he is pulling a rabbit out of a hat. I actually uh, have tickets to go see a magic show in Niagara Falls. By the way, Niagara Falls is a really cool city to live by. Uh, it's a beautiful place to go and it has lots of attractions. Attractions are things that, like magic shows um, or comedy clubs, 
Um, attractions are things that draw people to a city or make people want to go to a city. So um, I have tickets to go see a magic show. I got them as a gift and I haven't used them yet. Uh, Jen and I will probably go this winter to see a magic show. And again, if you go to a magic show, you see a magician. Um, so a ma magician does lots of magic tricks. Um, Welcome to everyone here. I'm always kind of shocked when I look down and I see that we're at 260 viewers. Hey, we're doing an English lesson uh, about entertainment. This is actually part two. Uh, <laughs> uh, someone on the chat says, Mag the magic is a lie. <laughs> yeah, it's all an illusion, we say. An illusion to make you believe that it's happening. Um, let's see here. Um, Oh yes, welcome to everyone. We're doing a, we're doing a small lesson on entertainment. Uh, let's do one more and then I'll take some questions. You can also go to the circus. Now there's a really popular circus from Canada. It has a French name. It's called Cirque du Soleil. Um, and they have shows in the province of Quebec and also in the city of Las Vegas. They're kind of a modern circus. So um, a circus is a place where you go uh, and usually they have elephants, they have jugglers. Remember we said this guy is a juggler. This juggler is juggling. <laughs> That's hard to say. Uh, but you go to a circus and uh, you see elephants and you see a big show in the big top. So the big top is the big tent. Usually, um, well at least a long time ago, circuses used to travel from city to city and they would be in tents. So there would be big tents and one of the tents would be extra large. <clears throat> Let's see here, Ajni has the first question. It says, <clears throat> this is asking about Canada. <laughs> Ajni says, Bob, I know you're, you're going to talk about sports today. Yeah, we'll get, that's good. Yeah, you got that. Do you know a sport called cricket and why is Canada not a major cricket playing nation like other former British colonies? That is a great question. Early on in Canada, uh, for our entertainment, uh, we started playing hockey and we started playing lacrosse. And cricket just didn't catch on. Um, there are cricket teams in Canada. And I think, um, and I think uh, that um, uh, there are more and more cricket leagues in Canada because as more people move to Canada, from countries where cricket is popular, we do see people playing it. When you go to a park in Toronto, for instance, Toronto is a very multicultural city. It's an awesome place to go to see the world, as I always say. Uh, and there are a lot of people at parks who play cricket, but Ajni, I don't know, it just didn't catch on. It's a cool sport. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go with Lolly. I'm gonna go with your second question, Lolly. Bob, do you celebrate Halloween? So last night was Halloween here in Canada. On Halloween, um, you, uh, your kids dress up in costumes and um, you take them out and you go trick or treating. So they go through um, a neighborhood, they go through a part of town and they go to each house and they ring the doorbell and when the person opens the door, they say trick or treat and the person gives them a little bit of candy or a little bit of chocolate. So yes, we did go out for Halloween last night um, and uh, my kids got way too much candy and hopefully they don't eat it all in one day. That wouldn't be very good. Uh, next question is from Henry and then we'll get back to the lesson. Henry says, hi Bob, could I say I love watching your field trip English lessons as learning entertainment in my free time? Yes, so learning, is kind of a hobby, right? Uh, learning is something you do to make yourself a better person, to make yourself more knowledgeable. So you could totally say that you love watching uh, my field trip videos. Those are the most popular videos, by the way. People love it when I go out and I do a, an English lesson in town or um, different places. So anyways, let's get back to the lesson. When you go to a big city, you might see street performers or we also call them buskers. This might be a new word for you. A busker is someone who plays music or juggles or does other entertainment on the street in a big city. Um, we usually say street performer, 
Um, but we also say busker. So you can busk, it's actually a verb. Like, oh, do you have a job for the summer? No, I'm just gonna busk on the street of Toronto. So you can see these people are playing music. I actually think they're somewhere in Italy. I think that's where this picture is from. Um, but a busker is someone who, um, like they have their guitar case open because they want you to throw money in. So sometimes for entertainment, you might walk around in a city and you might uh, watch or listen to some buskers. We actually have something called Busker Fest. It's a festival, um, I think in Toronto, I hope that's where it is, um, where a whole bunch of buskers come together and you can just walk the streets and listen to music and watch jugglers and magic tricks, etc. So street performers and buskers. Uh, another thing you might do for entertainment, Joey the Fly is back right now, he's flying around here, is you might go see a parade. So we have a lot of parades in Canada around Christmas. Um, there are a lot of Christmas parades. A parade is when a town or city closes a street, uh, and once that street is closed, then this is called a float. Sometimes you'll see marching bands, you'll see floats, you'll see uh, politicians like to walk or drive a car in a parade. But a parade is a long procession and it's usually done to celebrate something. We also have parades after our sports teams win. Sometimes they'll parade through the streets. Um, I think the Raptors did that last spring. Um, so it's a different kind of parade and it's not exactly a parade, but it's very similar. So closing a street, um, and you will have uh, good parades. I know around the world there are many countries that have parades and they are super fun uh, to go watch. Um, I just want to stop and say welcome to everybody who's here. We're at 386 people. Hello to everyone in the chat. Um, please make Todd's job easier by asking questions via the form. Uh, and please keep, uh, please be polite in the chat to each other, be kind to each other. I always try to be kind uh, in my videos and in life, <laughs> but uh, try to be kind to each other in the chat. I really, really appreciate that. Let's see here. Sometimes uh, when you go out to be entertained or for entertainment, you might go see fireworks. So that's how we describe fireworks. You go see fireworks. Um, in Canada, we often have fireworks on the long weekend in May, we have a holiday called Victoria Day, and there are often fireworks on Victoria Day. We also call it the May 2-4 weekend, because it's usually around May 24th. We also have fireworks in Canada on Canada Day, which is July 1st. Not July 4th, that's when our American cousins celebrate their holiday, but on July 1st, Joey, don't fly here. On July 1st, we have Canada Day and often we go out to see fireworks. Um, let's see here. Um, oh, that's nice, Nazil Bidi. Uh, I really like your pronunciation, sir. I learned a lot of pronunciation from your YouTube channel. Well, that's awesome, I'm glad. I try my best to pronounce things as clearly and as um, uh, properly as possible. Fireworks are awesome, they're quite loud. Um, one of the things I find funny about fireworks in Canada I don't know if you do it in your country, but whenever a firework goes off, boom, 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 everyone goes, ooh, ah, and they kind of do it in a funny way. Um, at least Jen and I do that. So fireworks are fun for celebration. I actually had a friend where uh, at his wedding, uh, so in Canada you have a wedding ceremony where you get married. And then that evening you have a wedding reception where you have a, a meal and people dance. And he had fireworks at the end of his wedding reception, my friend John. It was really cool. Fireworks are pretty awesome. Hey, let's do some questions. Let me see here. Um, this is from Louise Martin. Louise Martin says, hello from France. My first question here. Well, that's awesome, Louise. Uh, is Halloween important in your country? Uh, that's hard to say. Um, when we went out with the kids last night, um, there were a lot of people trick-or-treating, okay? So there were a lot of kids out on the street asking for candy. I think it's really important to my kids, <laughs> to, be, to be honest. 
I didn't really feel like going out uh, in the rain and wind and it was dark last night um, to go trick-or-treating. So I would say is trick-or-treating important? It's, it's certainly important to my children and a lot of Canadian children. They, they do look forward to it. Um, there's just way too much chocolate in my house right now because my kids just got so much candy that you'll probably see me start to put on weight <laughs> in the next little while. Uh, let's see here. Um, we're gonna go with Daniel's question. Daniel says, or yes, Daniel. Hey there, te dear teacher Bob, hello. Uh, could you please contrast hiking, campaign, and camping for me? Thanks a lot in advance. So a campaign is something a little different. Um, a campaign, generally we use the word campaign in English when someone wants to be uh, in the government. So they would campaign, uh, they would go from city to city giving speeches because they want to be elected and be part of the government. So that is something different. Hiking and camping are two activities that you do outdoors. When you hike, you simply walk through nature. Sometimes you have a walking stick and a backpack. Uh, a hike is basically a long walk through nature. Uh, and camping is when you sleep over. Uh, so you have a tent and you go to a campground. Um, let's see here. Um, Free99 English says, it's important to me, hi Sean, by the way, it's important to me that I give my kids the same fond memories I have from trick-or-treating. Yeah, I went trick-or-treating as a kid. When you live out in the country like I do, um, it's a good way to visit with your neighbors because you kind of talk for a few minutes with each neighbor. Um, so trick-or-treating for me as a kid was a really fun thing to do. So Sean is just reminding us that it's a cool tradition, I guess, to do. Let's see here. Lita, I'm going to stick with only questions that are on, to on topic. So we're going to go with Nergisa. Hi, Bob. What is the difference between fun fair and park? So depends. A fun fair will usually have fun things to do. A park can simply be a space with lots of green grass and trees. It doesn't have to have anything other than nature, okay? But a fun fair would have things like uh, games like ring toss, or they might have it where um, you have to throw baseballs and knock over um, different things to win prizes. So usually a fun fair has attractions. It has things to do. Let's do one more question and then we'll move on. Let's see here. Um, this isn't directly related, but it kind of is. Louise Martin says, I'm assuming your last name is Martin and not Martin. So the proper English pronunciation, Louise, would be Louise Martin. Doesn't sound right, does it? So I'm saying uh, Louise Martin. Uh, what is the difference between advertising and publicity? Thanks a lot. So publicity, sorry, publicity is more of a general term. So advertising is money you pay to put um, thing, commercials on television or to put advertisements in a paper, um, whereas pub publicity is like the general term for things you do to make other people aware of your things. The whole world of entertainment, though, is full of advertisements, um, for sure. <laughs> Bryant, uh, let's see here. Um, Bryant's from Malaysia says, hi, Bob. Hi, Bryant. Um, I believe attending Bob's class can be considered entertainment. Could you share with us how you normally teach students at class? Do you use PDF slideshow to teach? So um, this YouTube lesson is a kind of entertainment for people. Many of my um, subscribers come early and they have a fun conversation in the chat. Um, if I'm early, I chat beforehand as well. So certainly learning can be a kind of entertainment. How do I teach my class? It's kind of hard to see, but I have both uh, normal whiteboards that I can write on and I have boards I can project on. And there's actually on that side of the room, you can't see it, there's a large television and then there's another whiteboard here. So I have kind of a blend uh, of two, okay? So oftentimes I have things on the television. My computer screen can go up on the wall. Um, and I just do a variety of things. So it's, um, it's quite modern, I think, the way I teach. So, um, But let me move on to the next question. Um, Sean wanted to know if I enjoyed my Halloween. Yes, you know, 
the cool thing about my Halloween is the last stop when I go out for Halloween with my children is at my sister's house. And my sister usually has a nice warm cup of coffee ready for me. And we stay and we visit with my sister for about an hour. Um, so it's kind of a nice social night for me. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to, oh, Ofe. Uh, let's see here, awful. The Filipina says, hi, Sir Bob, hello, awful. Um, do you have a Christmas, do you do Christmas caroling? I. I personally don't go Christmas caroling. Christmas caroling is something at Christmas time. People go out and they go from house to house and um, they sing Christmas songs. So they knock on the door and then they sing a Christmas song. I'm not a good singer. Um, I can't sing on key. If you were to say sing a, a C note, I can't sing. Like I'll sing a D. D's a note, right? See, I don't know anything about music. Um, so I personally don't go Christmas caroling, but for entertainment, some people will go Christmas caroling. Great. Um, let's keep moving along here. So sometimes people will go to a fair. In my part of Canada, in Ontario, there are a lot of fairs in the fall, in the autumn. So right now, um, I think there were three regional fairs just in the last month. So there was a fair in a town called Waynefleet and there was a West Niagara Fair. A fair is a place where a couple of things happen. There are lots of rides and there are lots of games for people to play. And our fairs are usually also agricultural. So people will go and they'll take their best goat, they'll take their best cow, or they'll take their best chicken and they'll show it to people and it's a competition. You can actually win best chicken or best cow at our fairs. People also take in a lot of produce. You can also say produce, by the way, which are things like vegetables. So you can win for largest pumpkin. You can win for, you know, best looking flowers. So a fair is a really cool thing that happens in the fall. I love going to fairs, by the way, and I didn't go to any fairs this fall. I missed all of them because I was too busy. So um, I just want to stop and say, hey, you're watching part two of a lesson on entertainment. We did part one last week. If you go to um, my YouTube channel, you can find part one if you want to watch it. Um, if you're new here, you should click that subscribe button. I love having more subscribers. I love it when people uh, watch my videos to learn English. And thumbs ups are always welcome. Uh, I have 143 of them. Maybe I shouldn't ask for thumbs up. That sounds, uh, I think you guys just do that automatically now. So anyways, 456 of you, we're doing a lesson on entertainment. If you have questions, ask Todd, but the queue of questions, the list of questions is filling up really, really quickly. Uh, earlier, Adjane said he thought I might talk about sports. So I'm going to talk about sports briefly, but in terms of entertainment, this might be the biggest form of entertainment. Um, uh, this is soccer or football. You might call it football. We call it soccer. Um, people watch a lot of sports. I'm not going to talk about playing sports. Playing sport is also a form of entertainment, but uh, people watch a lot of sports. Um, there's a couple ways to entertain yourself by watching sports. You can go see a game. So this is the verb structure we use to talk about if you like to go to a stadium to watch a game, um, you would say, I'm going to go see a game. Like, I'm going to go see a hockey game. I'm going to go see a football game. We also say watch, equally usable. You can say, oh, I'm gonna go watch a soccer game. I'm gonna go watch a football game. Um, generally, for me, if I buy a ticket, I say that I'm going to go see a game. If one of my kids is playing a sport, I would say I'm going to go watch their game or I'm going to go watch a game. It's a subtle difference and I don't know uh, which is which. Like, I would say when my son was playing on a basketball team, I would say, oh, I'm gonna go watch a game after school. Um, but if I was going to, yeah, see, if I bought a ticket for a Toronto Maple Leafs game, I would say I'm going to go see a hockey game. So anyways, I think you can use both safely and you're not gonna, no one's going to look at you funny if you do that. That's a good phrase, eh? Um, when you make a mistake, 
Uh, in English, we say people, sometimes people look at you funny, like, huh, what was that? Um, another way to watch sports is that it can be televised. So this is how most people watch sports. Um, because it's expensive to go and see a game, um, but it is relatively cheap or, it, or zero cost to watch a game on TV. So sports are often televised. So in Canada, hockey is televised, football is televised, which is not the same football you're thinking of. It's Canadian football, which is like American football. Um, hockey is televised, uh, football, soccer is televised. Car racing is televised, so we can watch uh, Formula One, we can watch um, NASCAR, we can watch um, a lot of sports are televised and you can get some pop and chips and sit on your couch uh, and you can watch sports. Although I say pop, which is soda, um, but most people when they watch sports drink beer in Canada. That's a pretty popular alcoholic beverage to drink. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are sports fans, I guarantee it. Because I think, I don't have the actual numbers, but I think uh, sports, watching sports is probably one of the most popular forms of entertainment. Um, I, <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm gonna take a couple of questions here. They're not directly related. Uh, Lolly Lolly says, Bob, is it possible to learn two languages at the same time? Do you recommend that? I cannot do that. There are people who can. So Lolly, I really think it just depends on how you learn. Um, for me, when I learn new words in Chinese, I get them mixed up with my French words. So it's, it's a challenge for me. Um, Irvi says, hi Bob, could you please pronounce the word alien slowly and with normal speed? Um, so aliens are, people think maybe there's aliens that come from space. So an alien is someone who comes from outer space, if you believe that aliens exist. So the word is alien, alien. Um, let's see here, let me do one more question. Oh, this is fan of Bob the Canadian. <laughs> That's a great name. Um, let's see here. Um, what's the meaning of heckler? So a heckler is someone who sits in an audience and yells mean things at the person on stage, okay? So uh, it's not a nice thing to do. It's not a polite thing to do. But often if you, in particular, go see stand-up comics or a stand-up comedian, um, sometimes there will be a heckler. So it's someone who yells, basically, you suck. That's probably a common phrase for a heckler to yell. Oftentimes, I've noticed hecklers tend to be a little bit drunk They've usually had too many beers uh, and they start to yell at the person on stage. So don't be a heckler. It's not, it's not a good thing to be. Um, let's see here, let's move on. Uh, sometimes you don't want to go out to be entertained. Um, sometimes you just want to stay home and play board games. Um, I just see Nung Yoon says, hi Bob, I'm your student. I love your videos, especially when you film outside. Honestly, I didn't replay any English lesson videos until I, I real or I found yours. Thanks. It's no problem. I, I love making them. So um, sometimes you don't want to spend money. You don't want to go out, but you do want to be entertained. So you might stay home or stay in and play board games. So we have board games in Canada like Monopoly. Probably the most popular board games in the world are games like checkers and chess. Um, but it is nice just to stay home sometimes and play board games. Other times, you might stay home and play video games. This seems to be the more popular option. Um, video games are uh, something that you can play on your computer, uh, you can play on your phone, you can play on your television. Sometimes people have a gaming console and they'll have their controllers and they'll stay home and they'll play video games. These people are actually playing a soccer or football video game. I think they should just go outside maybe and play it. Sometimes you stay home and you play card games. Um, there are thousands of card games in the world. Um, and oftentimes this is something Jen and I do in the winter when we visit her parents. We will sometimes play a card game with them. So a card game, you have a deck of cards. You shuffle the cards, that means you mix them up, uh, and you will sit with uh, a few other people and visit, and you will have some snacks, 
and you will play a, a different kinds of card games. We usually play card games where there is no betting, okay? But you can also play card games like poker um, where you bet money. Um, and we call that whole realm of things games of chance or we call it gambling. I personally do not gamble. Um, I think I'm too logical of a person um, to, uh, I think what I understand is that when you gamble, you usually lose money. You don't often win money, or at least I don't often win money. So I don't gamble. Uh, I don't usually gamble. Uh, I see Bahar Yakin saying, thank you so much. I've been using your videos in my English class. That is awesome, Bahar. Thank you uh, for letting me know that. Um, and just again, hello to everyone in the chat down there. Um, games of chance or gambling. You can play games of chance with friends. Um, you can play poker. A lot of times people will have poker night. That's an evening where you invite friends over and they bring some money and, uh, and you play poker. Um, so uh, you can gamble with friends, but sometimes you can go to the casino. So I mentioned that I live close to Niagara Falls. Um, Niagara Falls has two large casinos. Um, so people go to the city of Niagara Falls to do gambling um, or to do some gambling, sorry. This is not actually Niagara Falls though. Can you guess what city this is? I'll give you a couple of seconds here. It is one of the biggest cities in the world for gambling. At least I'm pretty sure that's what this picture is. It's just a picture from the internet. Um, I'll wait two seconds here. This is Las Vegas. So Las Vegas is known uh, for being one of the best cities to go to if you like gambling. They have, I would think, hundreds of casinos. It is a city built around um, casinos. So um, I have never been to Las Vegas. And this is going to sound a bit funny. If I ever do go to Las Vegas, I probably won't gamble. I'll probably go see the casinos because I'm interested, but I don't know if I would actually do any gambling. Hey, let's do a couple more questions here. Uh, let's see here. Um, I just need to make sure that I'm answering questions that are on topic. So here we're gonna go with Manny's question. Sorry if I skip your question. I'm going to try and just do the questions about entertainment. Manny says, hello, teacher Bob. Could you please explain the difference between a joker and a clown? So a clown is someone you see at a circus. This guy juggling is actually a clown. So he's dressed up. Clowns usually have a big red nose and their face is painted. Um, the Joker is a movie right now and the Joker is a character in Batman movies. Um, and you can call someone a joker if they like to joke around and make fun all the time. But a joker and a clown are not really the same thing. A clown is a very specific way of dressing up to entertain people. Um, and a joker is really just someone who jokes around a lot. Um, let's see here, next question. Agrippina says, isn't it dangerous to go out on Halloween evening? So we try to be very careful on Halloween evening uh, because it's dark and last night it was dark and raining. So you want to make sure that you walk on the sidewalk and not on the road. Um, but there are usually lots of other people out and about. Um, and in Canada, the towns have a lot of street lights. So it is fairly well lit at night. So not super dangerous, but you do have to be careful. Um, in terms of entertainment, you could also read. So reading is, um, as most of you know, it is one of my favorite things to do for entertainment. I love reading a good book. Um, it is my favorite thing to do on a Sunday afternoon is to read a book and then sometimes fall asleep on the couch. Um, so is having a nap, like a little nap in the afternoon, is that entertainment? <laughs> I'm not sure if it is. Some people go shopping for entertainment. Um, I would say that Jen and I uh, tend to go shopping for entertainment because when Jen and I go shopping, we don't necessarily go to buy things. Sometimes we go shopping just to see what's new. Um, we go shopping just to have a bite to eat at the food court. So every mall in Canada has in the center a whole bunch of restaurants. 
Um, so sometimes we'll go in the winter, we'll go shopping as entertainment. Um, we don't have a lot of money, so we don't buy a lot of things, but it is fun to go. I think we do it because it's winter. It can be really cold and not very nice outside here in Canada. So Canadians do a lot of things indoors in the winter um, to entertain themselves. And one of those is to go to a large mall. Um, let's do a couple questions here. Uh, Layla says, hi Bob, what's the verb for making fireworks? Do you turn, burn, or something else? So we would say, you know, if you're doing them at home, you would say, oh, come on over. We're going we're gonna to do some fireworks tonight, or we're going to set off some fireworks tonight, or we're going to have fireworks tonight. So it's kind of a weird thing. Um, I, we usually are pretty clear on what verbs to use with certain things, but I think with fireworks, all of those would work. Like, hey, come on over. We're going to have some fireworks later tonight, or hey, come, come on over. We're going to do some fireworks. We're going to light off some fireworks. We're going to set off some fireworks. All of those work for sure. You can only buy fireworks though in my part of Canada close to holidays. Um, you can't buy them at other times of the year for some reason. Let's see. Um, trying to find the next questions. <laughs> Dimitro, makes, Dimitro knows that I'm a NASCAR fan. Dimitro from the Ukraine says, Hi Bob, what do you find exciting? about cars circling around an oval like in NASCAR. So NASCAR is a form of car racing and I like watching car racing, okay? Um, so Dimitro's wondering, how do you find that entertaining? Well, when you have a driver that you like, your favorite driver, um, you're always excited to see them pass someone. That's really cool. And I won't um, try to pretend that I don't like it when the cars hit each other. Sometimes there's an accident and that can be very entertaining as well. But uh, I just like it. It's fun. If you ever, Dimitro, I don't know if you've ever gone to a car race live, but when you go to watch a race live, okay, instead of watching the televised version, see, I just used the word televised, um, the sound of the engines at a car race is really cool. I really like that part of car racing. Let me do a few more questions here. Um, do, do, do. Louis, that's no problem, Louise. Louise Martin says, sorry for my last question. I understand that I must ask questions about the topic of the day. That's no problem. By the way, Louise, I do a live stream on Saturday evenings. It might be pretty late for you if you're, depending on where you are, where you can ask any questions you want. So maybe come back tomorrow night. Um, I do a live stream once a week from home. Um, and it's Saturday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and come to that one. You can ask any question you want. Um, let's see here. Wilson Mayer asks, how did Halloween begin? Notice I corrected your sentence there, Wilson. How did Halloween begin? I don't know the exact history. That would be a great thing to search for uh, online. I think that would be a great question. Um, let's see here. Um, Beata says, do you celebrate All Saints Day in Canada? We don't call it that. Um, let me find the date. Um, yeah, we don't celebrate that. I guess that's today. It's not an official holiday. I'm sure um, some of the more, um, uh, it's a more religious holiday. So it would be celebrated as Reformation Day or All Saints Day. There's a number of different names for it. So um, that is not like I'm at work today. It's certainly not a holiday today, Beata, for me. So um, let's see here. And then Ophel says, good morning, Canada. Good evening, Philippines. Yeah, it's already the weekend there. I'm always jealous. Um, Hi, Sir Bob. What, what do you celebrate most, Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve? We celebrate both. So usually our kids open gifts somewhere around Christmas. And we usually spend New Year's Eve, um, stay up till midnight and... Uh, we uh, have a little uh, little party with friends, so that's always fun. Hey, let's do a few more of these. Another thing you can do for entertainment is you can go on a tour. Um, I live close to a wine, or sorry, a grape growing region in Ontario. I live close to a lot of vineyards, and vineyards have tours. There's all kinds of different tours in the world, but sometimes people will go on a wine tasting tour so they'll go to one of the 
uh, local vineyards and they'll go on a tour and they'll see how the grapes are grown. They'll see how the wine is made and they'll be able to taste some of the local wines. So another form of entertainment is to go on a tour. Sometimes people will go uh, to an amusement park. So an amusement park, I did a video actually on the amusement park Canada's Wonderland. If you do a search for Bob the Canadian amusement park, you can watch that video where I go to an amusement park. But an amusement park has a Ferris wheel and it has rides, it has roller coasters. Okay, um, and usually kids like amusement parks, although some older people do as well. Um, so uh, yeah, Sean, I'm almost at a quarter million subscribers. It's a little daunting. Um, I'm happy, but it's a little bit, uh, it freaks me out a little bit. That's a great phrase too. Um, anyways, amusement parks are fun. Kids love them. Um, something that's become more and more popular uh, in North America are something uh, are things called conventions. And you might not recognize the word convention because they usually shorten it to con. So we have conventions like um, Comic-Con where people who like comic books will dress up uh, as their favorite uh, comic book person um, or from movies and uh, television as well. Um, or we have things like VidCon for people who like making videos. So it's a convention. It's uh, basically a whole bunch of people go to one city and you hear people talk and you can go and meet and greet people who maybe you are fans of. So conventions are becoming very, very popular uh, in North America. Um, close to me, there is a town, actually the city of Hamilton and the city of Welland both have food festivals. Food festivals are places where you go and a whole bunch of different food vendors or a whole bunch of different local chefs will go to one place, usually a park, and they will cook food and you can go around and try different kinds of food. Food festivals are super fun. Um, I love going to food festivals. Um, I haven't been to one in a long time, but they have names like Rib Fest. So that's where they cook ribs. You'll have to look up what ribs are. Um, and there are some where you go and you just have chicken wings, but food festivals are super fun. I love food festivals. And believe it or not, this might sound silly, um, but sometimes people to entertain themselves will just go for a drive. And uh, we've done this before where we've just gone for a drive to see the fall colors. Sometimes you go on a road trip uh, to see what the leaves look like in a different part of Ontario. Um, because in the fall, the leaves turn color and they look really beautiful. Um, so road trips are very popular forms of entertainment. Um, but uh, sometimes people go for what we call a Sunday drive. Sometimes when I'm driving on Sunday, the person in front of me is going really slow. And in English, we would say, oh, they're just out for a Sunday drive. So they're just kind of driving around to kind of look at a few things. Hey, let me just jump back to the questions and see what we got here. Um, let's see here. Agrippina says, in Russia, we have attraction parks where you can, for example, ride up and down metal slides. How do you call this kind of entertainment? We call it American slides. I think you might be talking about roller coasters, but I'm not sure, Agrippina. That's a, that's, that's a, that's, um, that's what we would call it. Sean says, go for a rip. Actually, Sean, that reminds me of when I was younger, I had a motorcycle and people with motorcycles definitely go for a drive once in a while as entertainment. Um, if you have a snowmobile, you go for a ride as entertainment and uh, that's pretty popular. Um, let's see here. Um, I'm trying to find a couple more questions about entertainment. Let's see. Uh, Vinicius says, hi, Bob. You asked about the clown doing something in the picture. Is he a juggler? Yes, he is a juggler. I checked out the meaning of this word and I find some bad adjectives. Can you say more about this word? So um, the word juggler, so this guy is juggling and he is a juggler. We also use the phrase, um, sometimes when you're really busy, you're juggling a lot of things, okay? So I'm not sure what bad adjectives you found. Um, I can think of a few that I don't wanna mention, but certainly um, if someone has um, you know, three things and they're throwing them up in the air, catching them and throwing, they are juggling, 
totally safe to say that. Um, to call this person a juggler, totally safe, not a bad adjective at all. And to say that, um, you know, I had to juggle a few things the other day because I was so busy, totally fine. That, that wasn't a great sentence. But sometimes when you're really busy, you are juggling um, a lot of things. Let's do one more question. Let's see here. Um, let's see. <laughs> let's do this one from Beata. This is our last one. Beata says, Bob, are you sitting in your classroom? I am sitting in my classroom. Yep. So this is where I teach. This is where I work every day. Um, this is where I teach French. This is where I teach computer studies. Um, it is the classroom at the school where I work. Hey, I'm going to say a couple of things here. Number one, your job tomorrow, if you did not understand parts of this, is to come back and re-watch this video and turn on the subtitles. Hopefully that will help you. If there was a little section you didn't understand, re-watching a video twice is a great way to learn language. It's not always exciting. It can be quite boring. Uh, second thing, I'm Bob the Canadian. There will be a live lesson tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, open questions. Um, if you are new here, you should click the subscribe button. Or if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, you should click it. You get notified when I do a new video. Um, and there was one other thing. Thumbs up? Is that usually what I ask for? I think that's what it is. Uh, I'm just going to say bye to everyone in chat. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, my wife told me that when I push the button, the live stream gets cut right off. So I'm just going to ramble on for a little bit, a minute or two. Um, I hope that you have a good weekend, that you have a good weekend. Uh, thanks, Todd and Sean. Thanks, Todd and Sean, for being here. You guys are awesome. Um, again, do rewatch the video if you need it. If you haven't watched my Tuesday video, on uh, Tuesday I did a video where I went to town and I stood in front of a building and then I described the building and then you, I gave you a few seconds to guess what the building was. So just do a search for Bob the Canadian Buildings on YouTube and you'll find it. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, Sean says hit the bell for notification. I always forget to mention that. That would help. Uh, and thank you to all of you who are new here. Um, you are helping me grow this YouTube channel to an incredible size and I, I really appreciate it, okay? I am actually humbled and honored with the sheer number of people who have done that. So thank you very much. I'm just going to say bye to a few people in chat. Bye everyone. Uh, have a good day. This was fun. Uh, live lesson tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, new video next Tuesday. Um, one last thing here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not talking. I should be. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to do this. If you haven't watched, here is last week's video. Go watch it. So there's a link in the chat right now. If you haven't watched this week's I said last week's, but it's this week's videos, is a guessing game about buildings. I think you'll like it. Let me see here. Anyways, I'm going on and on. I should stop. I should stop. I'm, I'm starting to not make sense. Thank you so much for the 500 odd people that came for this lesson. I hope you were able to learn just a little bit more English. And I'm going to push this button.